relives their story about how their dog died. Later, during lunch, Father Murphy announces his discovery of an explicit chat on his computer. He asks for the person responsible to come out. Still, of course, no one claims responsibility. Since no one took responsibility, he tells them he hopes the person feels compelled by the Spirit of Christ to own up to the truth and tell him before the retreat is over. After which, during their one-on-one -on -one section with Father Murphy, he asked questions about Alice's relationship with God, and referred to the list of the feelings she circled out on day one. In the process, he pushes Alice to confess to acting on her sexual temptations with Wade since he doesn't believe her insistence that nothing happened. Later in the evening, during her cleaning, Alice confronts Wade, asking him what his problem with her is. Wade tells her his girlfriend almost dumped him because of the rumor she started. On hearing this, Alice denies it and asks him about his complicity in the rumors spread by failing to deny it. She then tells him he needs to start denying it since they both know nothing happened because people believe she is a slut, including the teachers, and without admitting his fault or apologizing, he leaves as soon as he sees Father Murphy. Again on cleaning duty, Alice witnesses Nina kissing, then filleting, another senior leader in the woods, after which she grinds the mopping stick against her genitalia and stops immediately when she sees a teacher. Immediately, Alice finds Laura and asks if she can talk to her. Laura asks her what she wants to talk about, since she needs to get back to Nina. Alice then tells Laura about Nina's escapades in the woods. Laura refuses to believe Alice and accuses her of making things up, as she did in her group about her dog dying. Alice then replied that she was not making it up. She tells her she didn't have a choice because she didn't know what to do since she didn't have anything to say in her group. Laura accuses Alice of wanting attention, and she believes that she did toss Wade's salad. Instantly in her defense, Alice tells her she doesn't know what it means. Immediately, Laura tells her to quit to stop pretending since she knows what it means, as she also knows the sex scene in Titanic. She also accuses her of breaking into Father Murphy's office, and ends their friendship, calling Alice a pervy psycho. Alice returns to Father Murphy's office and frames Wade for the earlier break-in by dropping a band on his table. After which, she sees Father Murphy coming. While hiding to make her escape, she catches Father Murphy masturbating to a pornographic video saved on his computer. Now outside, Chris sees her and asks if she wants to talk. Finding herself alone with Chris, Alice kisses him, but he becomes overwhelmed and runs away. That night, during their music gathering, Alice flees the campgrounds and stumbles upon a lesbian bar. She enters and orders a wine. While drinking, Gina asks if she is from the Catholic Youth Retreat. She and the owner, Gina, then commiserate about how the fear of damnation can warp an adolescent's development. Alice tells her she thinks she is going to hell for having cyber sex and for rewinding the Titanic sex scene three times. Gina then tells Alice that nobody knows what they are doing, since everybody is trying to figure it out themselves. She also counsels Alice to be careful online and not to give anybody her password, since nobody is trustworthy. After this, Gina offers to give her a ride back to the retreat since she doesn't want any nun looking for her at the bar. On returning to the campground before leaving, Gina encourages Alice to look into colleges on the west and east coasts and finally satisfies Alice's curiosity about what tossing salad means. On the last day of the retreat, Alice befriends a socially awkward classmate. Later on, Laura apologizes to Alice for doubting telling and tells her it was Wade since they found his bracelet in Father Murphy's office, and he must have also spread the rumor about him and Alice since he is gay. At a whole group sharing session, Father Murphy pulls Wade aside with Wade on the hook for the explicit chat incident, whereby he makes him apologize. After this, Alice talks to everyone and reminds the retreat attendees that everyone is hiding stuff. She implores them to treat each other honestly and respectfully, as Jesus wanted. Back at school, Alice reassures a still uncomfortable Chris that they can be friends, and they hug each other. After which she confesses her sins to Father Murphy, Alice also boldly reveals that while on the retreat, she saw a video of people having sex, in which both of them know what she is talking about but not discussing. She then asks about the implications of her confession. Father Murphy assigns a heavier penance of 100 prayers, but instead of remaining in the chapel, Alice goes home to re-watch and masturbate to the sex scene